And I do think that when we talk about people in these desperate situations, nobody's going to take this journey without being pushed into it. There is a definite push factor as to why they're choosing to make these journeys. Um, I think we are in danger of sometimes I, I losing our... I don't really understand what you're saying. What I'm There's saying is no... It's the push factor to leave France. But it's the push factor to get to the UK. They are more likely to have... Con uh, to have uh, contacts here, family members that's here. That's pull, why they're coming that's here. A that's a pull factor to, for that bit of the journey. But the whole journey, is, journey as a whole, that they sign up to when they're coming from very dangerous and difficult places. Well, not everyone, there are a lot of things that we can do. France. There are a lot of things that we can do. Hang in a on, lot of different that point, ways. Surely they're coming from. They're coming, they're coming from these. Some of them places. are coming from France across that last part, leg of the journey, but they don't sign up at the beginning of the journey. The journey doesn't start in Calais. This is what I'm saying. But more than that, I'm saying I. I'm aware that we're going to differ on the treatment of migrant policy. I think we're agreeing on the fact that whatever, your, whatever you want that migrant policy to be, it's being poorly delivered. So I, I think that there needs to be two discussions, both of which need to be filled with a consciousness of humanity as well as a need for clear laws to be delivered clearly. Yeah, I think there's a need for humanity, but I sort of push back on this idea that these are all terrified, vulnerable people fleeing these really dangerous countries because A, they are coming from France, and B, the vast majority of these people are working-age men. And if it was women and children that were overwhelmingly coming here, I think we could all agree that they are extremely vulnerable groups of people. But these, the vast majority of these people, over 90%, are... Males. Are you saying it's not possible to be vulnerable if you're a working age man? It's not. It's not yeah. impossible to be vulnerable if you're a working age man. But working age men are, are more likely to be constricted into the uh, into the armies and the battles that are happening in these countries. Yeah, but because these are working age men, they're more likely to be coming here for reasons other than simply safety. That being economic reasons. There's a reason why so many of these migrants that are coming on these boats are disposing of things that could mark their identity, like. Uh, passports, phones, disposing of these and, and dropping them into the sea. And that's a fact. It's been filmed, them doing this. So if they were all extremely desperate, like a lot of I mean, people on the left are saying, why would they get rid of markers of their identity? I mean, if, if you say they've been filmed as if that's a data point that, that says all of them are doing it. I mean, if every single is every single literary agent dropping their phone in the sea just because we know that Colleen Rooney or the other one, I don't, Rebecca Vardy's agent did that. I'm just saying that's, uh, that's not the same what? thing as we know that that's <laughs> happening <laughs> over and over again. Some people have lost their documents, some people have got rid of their documents, some people are not behaving Why are properly. they fleeing the hotels then before their identity? This is what I'm saying. You're saying 200 of them. There were 500 arrived yesterday. 200 since 2001, September 2001 is not a vast percentage of but them. But do you accept that's I mean, a problem? That's what I'm saying. That is a problem. What I'm saying is we have, at the moment, laws being applied badly that should be applied better. I believe that I would like to change the way that we talk about the migration situation overall. But we have a democratically elected government who are failing at what they've said they'll do to the majority of people who disagree with me.